Hey YouTube, Will here from All Electric, back again with another video, and today we are testing Smart Summon. Our white Model 3 is currently running 2019.40.50.7, and I know it's been several updates since I've done a Smart Summon video, so let's jump right in. So I pull right up to the front of Chipotle, and I'm going to send my car out to a parking spot, and we're going to see what happens, and you guys will be able to see everything, and I'll also pull up the app view right here so you can see exactly what the path of travel, like kind of what the car is thinking. So you can see it kind of doesn't slow down very much through this stop sign. I'm currently running hardware 2.5 on this car, but then slows down kind of after the intersection and says, hey, we're just slowing down uh, because there's an intersection here. And then th you can see the path of travel here. It's slated to turn left there, but then realizes that it missed the turn. I've yet to see that happen where the smart summon actually missed the left turn and then corrects itself. So pretty cool to know that it is smart enough to realize that, okay, it needs to back up a little bit. But here on this left turn, you can see there is a car right over there, that red Prius, and it is getting a little close to that car trying to get to that target point. Now, although it still had about 12 to 14 inches, still I would have liked to seen it go straight down the middle more like a natural driver. And then we get Summon Complete, which is kind of underwhelming because you can see here, it just kind of ends at the target point. After it's been several updates, I was expecting something a little bit more, a little bit better as far as pulling into a spot more like a human driver. Of course, I did come here to actually get Chipotle, so I did go into the restaurant, get some food, and then I stood back out right outside the doors. Here I am zoomed in a little bit. I open up the app again and select another target point near my location. Now it took me a minute to figure out where I wanted the target point to be because with Smart Summon very much in its infancy, I really do not want to be a nuisance to other drivers. You can also notice here I did back the car in and put it in a regular spot, not trying to be a BMW <laughs> driver taking up three parking spots. So I find a target point that's sort of out of the way and initiate the smart summon. And you can see that once it pulls out of the spot, it moves rather quickly through the parking lot. You can also notice for this right-hand turn, it is using that right blinker. And also for this left-hand turn, after it pauses for this intersection, it uses that left-hand blinker. So a really successful smart summon here. And I'm really happy with everything as far as performance goes and it stopped exactly on that target point just like I asked the car to do. So really impressive here. Now as you remember previously in the video we did run into a couple issues where it was able to figure out that it kind of drove a little bit further than it should have but then it messed up the trajectory I think and got way too close to this Prius for my liking. So I would like to see in the next couple software updates the ability to literally just hop out of your car, hit a button, and send it to go park. Not send it to a target point. I want to see it send it and go park in a parking spot. It shouldn't be that difficult for Tesla to use like satellite imagery or something like that to figure out where the parking lot is and where it would be an appropriate spot for someone to park. I do think this auto park is coming and Elon Musk has tweeted about it. Just like autopilot, it's going to take several software updates to work out all the little kinks like we saw in this Smart Summon video. Now I am still testing autopilot and I am testing that one intersection that has been giving me problems going through it. And so far running 40.50.7, it is perfect in that right hand lane heading straight through that. But I'll be sure to update you guys with another video soon. I wanna give a big thank you to all of you that are supporting me over on Patreon. You can show your support for as little as a dollar a month and for $4 a month you get YouTube early access. For the all electric tier, you get early access and you get a shout out at the end of all of my videos. The all electric supporters I have right now are Graham Matul and Nicola Pro. Thank you guys so much and thank you so much to all of my other patrons. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so yet, consider subscribing and make sure you share this video with a friend. As always, I will see you guys in the next one.